my name is Ratsy, and welcome back to Challenge the Spire. We are going to be playing the Ironclad in gold. And go for that Elite Rush. Alright. We might not actually get an Apotheosis super early this time, which will probably make life much harder. Time for a challenge. Ooh, we now also do have the Ascenders Bane in the deck. And 750 gold, and we start damaged. Ouch. Uh, Mummified Hand. Whenever you play a power card, a random card in your hand costs zero for the rest of the turn. Well, it's difficult to get that many power cards is the problem. I still think I'd take it. Mm -hmm. I'll take those two. And let's remove a defend. Upgrading Brewmaster just makes it cost two. Sure, I don't have other ways to cheat out energy yet, so guess I'll take that. Oof. Really? Like really? We're actually gonna put Brewmaster on the absolute bottom of my deck here? Really, really? All right then. Really hoping I get some good potions now. All right. Life is gonna get real difficult over the course of this. Let's draw. Found a strike. And Meat of the Bone, if your HP is out of below 50% at the end of combat, heal for 12 HP, as well as Wasp Nest. Each time you lose HP in combat, gain two thorns. And a bunch of stuff I can't really play. Not right now, at least. As much as I want to play Brewmaster, it might not be the... Actually, as long as it doesn't hit that defend, yeah, we still get to play the same amount of attacks this turn. Should have played the Steroid Potion last turn, though. <laughs> Oops. Uh, question card. Future card awards have one additional card to choose from, as well as Grinning Jar. Obtain a skill that draws two cards. Obtain an additional copy for every other 12 cards added to your deck. Uh, I'm never going to be able to upgrade the Searing Glow enough to really use it. With that draw potion, it's possible that I can kill the sentry this upcoming turn. Well, actually, no, I'm fine. Even without. Although I am bleeding hardcore. I'm fine with taking five damage this turn, because now I'm below half HP. I'll still get below half HP here. So I get to heal the 6 at the end of the combat as well as 12 from Meat of the Bones. So, actually really, really powerful. Okay. Find me lethal. No. Well, in lieu of that, full defense will do. By Sentry. Counterbalance. During boss and elite fights, enemy strength gain, block gain, and healing is reduced by half, as well as the Courier. The merchant restocks cards, relics, and potions, and all prices decreased by 20%. Uh, yeah, okay, I guess. Take Body Slam, give myself an actual win condition in the deck. And Wanted Poster. Gain energy at the start of your turn for each turn. Uh, for every 100 gold below 500 you have, enemies start with a random buff and gain 100 gold and pick up. All right. I can't spend more than 36 in this shop. Oh, good. There isn't actually that much I want to buy from this shop. Sweet. So I can just float the rest of my money. I'm kind of very heavily reliant on my potions right now. And the healing we get at the end of each combat.
Barricade's good. I'm never actually going to be able to generate enough blocks for it to actually be useful though, right? So one strike is one, three, wait, so, hang on, fire breathing. At the end of each turn, for each attack blade this turn, deal one damage to all enemies, increasing damage by one each turn. So one, two, three, four, right? One, two, three, four is 10. That's enough to kill the backliner. This is going to be a hard life for us. Hey, Nib, every 10th attack your blade deals double damage as well as the Karen's Ashes. Whenever you exhaust a card, deal six damage to all enemies. Uh, exhaust up to three cards. Draw a card for each and add a void to your discard pile. True grid, I guess. I could have tried to true grit my strength, uh, my strike out there, and then have the enemy die that way, but it wasn't guaranteed. Yeah, we still don't really have a deck. This is terrifyingly unfortunate for us. I wonder how we're gonna deal any damage. Well, next turn, play as many blocks as I possibly can with the speed potion active and then kill the enemy. Never mind, that hit the body slam. Sweet. Good, good, good. 25% chance to do that, by the way. Lagram leader. Hello to Mystery Machine. Gain. Nope, never mind. That does nothing for us. The boot. Whenever you would deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increases to five. Uh, take a shrug it off as well. We're, we're definitely dead before the floor three bosses. Well, not before, but Jareen. With Brewmaster, I've got to remember to use Potion every single turn. Brewmaster is basically the only good thing in my deck right now. Okay. I don't have thorns, but... Can make you languish so you do no damage this turn. More bank upon where uh, whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at the shop, as well as spearhead. At the end of your turn, all enemies lose HP equal to their vulnerable. No. None of that's really gonna help us. If the homogene uh hemogenous hemogenesis, sorry, uh retained, then I could really use it, but. Without that, I can't really afford to. Uh, Sozu, gain energy at the start of each of your turns. You can no longer obtain potions. Well, that immediately kills my entire deck. So I'll Astrolabe. Try and get lucky by transforming three strikes and getting defensive cards for the sake of the body slam. We've got Bludgeon, Pummel, and Massacre. Well, Pummel at the very least is 25 damage to a target because of the boot that we already have. There's Entrench. Entrench Reversal. Uh, shrug it off as well. I'll take both Shrug it offs. Even though I'm now going to buff my enemies at the start of each combat, I think those Shrug it offs are going to be like absolutely desperately necessary. Reversal retaining our block for a couple more turns is also really important.
Language. Solid amount of damage to get down there. Sweet! Brewmaster next turn as well. 43, so I'd really like to full defend. Well, fine. Extremely unfortunately, the enemy actually gets their intangibility before they attack, and they lose it after they attack, so we'll never hit them with a reflection. It's just... Just not going to happen. Obvious wrong ordering there. And it was so close. And bludgeon there is totally fine by me. Really? Oh, life just got really hard for us. It's unfortunate the, the enemy gains that. How it does, and yeah, no, we did. That was always going to happen there. Uh, so we had a bunch of our damage tied up in the ability to gain thorns with Wasp Nest and the ability to do reflection with a reversal, but the Nemesis can never be heavily afflicted by any of those. Uh, which I will mention at this point, I have been told by the devs is a bug a very long time ago. Oh, well. That deck also just didn't have any defined win strat, so it was really... It might be a, a mercy that it died there. So you can't... Like, early I could go inflame anger, do something with that, but uh, you can't... You can't maintain that late. You know what? I'm doing it anyway. I can shrug it off as well. You know what? God, I hope this is seeded. Because we bought way more there than I actually expected to. What? Oh, uh, this is just loaded us into a normal run. Alright, abandoned. So you can't save and quit to reorder your shops, purchases there. Oh well. So I would have bought the bargain bundle and then bought all of those, so I would have saved myself a bunch of money. Perfected strike. We're never going to get enough strikes to make a perfected strike deck work. The bomb is really good for your early game damage against the bosses, but not great after that. And I'll take the bomb, I'll take gambling chip so I can get to the bomb really quickly as well, and remove a strike. Immediately upgrade the bomb. This is really good for, like, sleeping log bullets as well, but, like, the sentries, they'll all immediately die to this. Well, as soon as the bomb goes off, that is. Garbage hand there. Bomb kills them all. I get hand mirror. Whenever you gain vulnerable or weakened, it's also applied to the enemy that sent it. I'm gonna take the body slam. We need to start building a defensive deck. The Oldie Smooth Stone points us in that direction a little bit. But seeing a body slam is also really good. need to do is 22 damage this turn. Sweet. 
Light bulb. If you have any unspent energy at the end of your turn, draw that many cards at the start of your next turn, as well as funnel at the end of your turn. Unused energy is converted to four block each. Apply to an enemy whenever you lose H. Uh, whenever you use health, the bound enemy takes that much damage. Upgrades to be zero cost. Is that useful? Not hugely. It's really important that we play the bomb here on top. Really important we play the bomb here on turn. By Gremlin Knob and Hello to the Ringing Soul. Once per room, you may, uh, when you add a card to your deck, gain three max HP. Nothing here yet either. Very limited ability to make card selections, so there's a lot of strategies that just outright aren't going to work. Oh, okay. I see what's happened here. A billion lines of the game telling me that it was attempting to take. Hang on. Generating the following dungeon map. No, no, no. Go further down. Uh, a billion lines of the map telling me. The game telling me, rather, that it was attempting to get the grab bag. And then it just crashed. Alright, we're back. Okay, so I saved the crash log and then restarted the game a couple of times. Alright, back into gold, back into ironclad, back into elite rush. So we get in the first shop. There's an entrench, but no blocks supporting it. Uh, choose three colorless cards to obtain. Guaranteed to get at least one rare card. Let's take the... What? Leave? Oh, sweet. Okay. It's under here. Uh, Awaken one's ritual. Ooh. Four damage, gain two reflection for targeting intense attack. I kind of want to go uh, awaken once ritual. I I don't really know how we're gonna get that one to work. The grinning jar is gonna be helpful at the very least, though. And let's cut a strike. I don't I don't think this can work, but hell, let's try it. Go. So I guess over the course of this run, what I'm going to try and do is find a way to either benefit from the ritual components and the amount of cycle we're generating at this point. Or try and find a way to get enough of them in the hand at one point to go off. So I'm going to need more draw. That's the most obvious thing. Alright. Should just be able to kill next turn. And that'll get that done. Fossilized Helix. Prevent the first time you lose HP each combat. That's actually huge. Double tap as well as Whirlwind. Well, that would be our deck. But that's also not going to scale well into the late game. Double block here on turn one. All right. The big problem we're about to encounter is that these enemies are regenerating, so they started with lower HP, but it's just getting higher. Higher and higher, baby. 
24 I can deal to the back line. Okay, so now 39. So I kill the front line with that. Take no damage to the back line due to the buffer. Hmm. Alright, that extra defend actually won me over. Don't think we're going to be able to kill the sentry in the upcoming turn. But I would need three strikes exactly. And that's just not too likely. <laughs> kind of close though. Need one more strike and backliner is down. And the frontliner can no longer regen because they're already on max HP. A lot of our defense went on that turn. Really wish it hadn't. Okay, back to full defense. Thank you. It's going to take a long time. But if I can find just enough draw in the next shop, I might actually be able to make this a really cool deck. Nope. And he's just healing up while I'm doing all this. Uh, like some. There we go. I'm gonna say, would really like some aggression. That'll do, though. Um, strike for the kill, thank you. Shuriken, every time you play three attacks in single turn, gain one strength, as well as whenever you enter. Uh, whenever you gain, vulnerable or weakened, it is also applied to the enemy that sent it. And uh, none of those. They don't necessarily help me here. Ooh, okay. Uh, well, we don't play the, we don't play the Awaken Ones Ritual deck. Very hopeful that I get the kill this turn. Looks good. Ringing Soul. Once per room, you may add a card to your deck, uh, or when you add a card to your deck, gain three... HP, Burning Pact? I mean, sure, that'll be one way to help us draw. Hamster Wheel. Gain energy each time you draw a card. Drawing a card increases its cost by one for a turn. For the turn, rather. At the start of combat, add a random curse from your draw pile. Or to your draw pile for each Exos card in your deck. Well, if we had enough draw in the deck, that would be really good. So, Burning Pact is going to draw three cards. So, it'll actually be a refund of energy. Take the hamster wheel, sure. Shrug it off only draws one card though, so it's not great for what we're trying to do. Yep, could not find any more card draw. That's gonna make this tragic. Or at least not enough card draw. Well, I have to remove more cards from this deck to try and get the actual thing going off. Well, Burning Pack needs to increase its card draw. Those Grinning Jars also need to be upgraded so they stop interacting with one another, but that's that's a later problem right now. All right. Big ouchie right there. Burning pack that strike out. Get a bunch of new cards. If I don't get that bash in, this enemy is just ramping up, so if I don't get that bash in, I'm probably just dead. I hate the grinning jar is in the same hand as the other grinning jar right now. That costs one. Wait a second. Drawing a card increases the cost by one for the turn. Oh, so you can increase the cost of a card by two using that. Oh, yikes. If 
Burning Pact, one of these defends. Oh, ah, could have been double ritual component right there. Would have been incredibly valuable. Yeah, this, uh, this one's going straight to the gutter, I feel. Not sure we survived this in the long term. Uh, every three turns, gain an energy as well as bottled flory. We'll put that on one of the grinning jaws. Fiendfire, burn out all of the cards that aren't... <laughs> sure. Nine for each card in hand, so I can deal exactly 36. And that removed a bunch of cards from my deck that weren't ritual components. Oh! Uh, yeah, there's only four in the deck at any one time. That's my bad. Okay, so that was never going to work. At least that turn. Let's burn that wound out. Getting even more ritual components that are even less usable. Hell yeah. At the very least, it looks like I will be able to get it off a total of once. Oh, here we go. Look at all this. Beautiful Dark Echo. Uh, on the end of your... Uh, sorry, at the end of your turn, unused energy is converted to four block each. Upon pick up, choose a card. Each time you shuffle your, draw, uh, your deck, rather, that card is placed on top. Put that on the burning pack. Thank you. Can it work again? I would be sincerely surprised. Okay, let's... Finesse, Grinning Jaw, bunch of ritual components. Burn out the Defend, bunch more ritual components. Just trying to fill my hand with cards that aren't ritual components. Bash and Beam Fire, the Gremlin Leader. A bunch of cards in this deck are ritual components right now. Just, uh, just saying. Hey, yes. <laughs> oh, don't tell me this is gonna work. The start of each combat applied three language to all enemies as well as snack pack. Whenever you add, sorry, whenever you add. Uh, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, heal for two HP. I can't add cards to this deck. It just makes the deck worse. Empty cage. Upon pick up, remove two cards from the deck. Oh, yes. Uh, move another card. Sure. Oh, this uh, this bodes well. I'm gonna take the toy ornithopter and the energy potion. No, I shouldn't need an energy potion, should I? Uh, I'll take the. I mean, I would have taken any source of draw, but none of those available. I'd love to rest here, but I think it's really important that I upgrade a grinning jar so that I can play two of them in the same turn. So all I have is Burning Pact and Ritual Components in my deck. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 
Yep. Anyone uh, want to draw me back into one? There we go. Maybe this works. Uh, whenever you lose HP, you gain three block next turn, as well as ornamental fern. Whenever you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block. Nothing else that I can take there, obviously. These enemies do put wounds in my deck. That is a problem. That is something that should concern me right now. Two wounds added. Thankfully, the deck gets shuffled. The top card of the deck, because of the bottled flurry, has to be burning packed. Great. <laughs> Mystery Machine does nothing. Centennial Puzzle doesn't really do anything either, actually. Uh, well, it does draw us extra cards if we desperately need them. Destroy an enemy after 10 turns. Look, if we take 10 turns into combat, we are already dead. Really early fiend fire. I didn't need to weaken the enemy there. I forgot that I have all this extra energy at the end of my turns. Alright. Now I got all these dark echoes. Kind of playing him for extra strength right now. And just tutoring my deck a little. Alright, sweet. Should have lethal this turn. That'll get it done. Simplicity. Strikes and defense can be upgraded any number of times upon pickup upgrades you randomly. I mean, I did not think this was going to work, but we we got it down to the kind of an art form. It's uh it's working. Don't draw the fiend fire. We're set up now. Hell yes. I... I'm really proud of this. Just take all those, thank you. And then boom, 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 boom. <laughs> all right, heart. 445 damage. I'll take it. I will definitely take that. That is our gold victory here for the Ironclad in Challenge the Spire. God even knows if I'll be capable of winning Platinum, but that seems like a tomorrow problem. So for today, my name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been Slayed the Spire modded. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There is a playlist in the description down below with all the contents on this game, past, present, and future, as well as a link to the Steam Store where you can pick up the workshop collection that has every mod that I've played in the series, past, present, and future. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time.